Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Fork Full of Noodles. I'm your host, Krish Mohan. Hey, you might notice some people laughing in the background of these episodes, and that is because this was filmed in front of a live virtual audience via Zoom. Uh, I do these shows three times a month, record them in front of a live virtual audience, uh, and you can be a part of this live virtual audience by getting tickets to one of these shows uh, where you can go get your tickets at krishmohanhaha.com. They're only $5 for one show, or you can get a multi-show pass and save uh, a, a few extra bucks. Uh, but if you become a sustaining member of this show, either on Patreon uh, or directly on my website or via PayPal or through Bandcamp, various different ways where you can become a sustaining member, you get free tickets to come to see the Citizen Revolution live virtual stand-up comedy shows, which eventually become episodes of Fork Full of Noodles, which is awesome. Uh, and not only that, uh, but these shows are filmed in the River's Edge studio, which is part of the River's Edge radio network. And I couldn't be thankful for uh, more thankful for being a part uh, of the studio. Uh, the River's Edge is your place to get local Pittsburgh music from the Pittsburgh area 24-7. Just go to the TuneIn app, download that app, and look for the River's Edge radio network. It's a 24-hour stream of independent music. The radio station is independently owned uh, and is located in Pittsburgh in the heart of Millvale. So you'll be supporting an independent local radio station. So check them out. Uh, and once again, if you want to get tickets to the shows, if you want to become a patron, if you want to make a donation, uh, if you want to check out past episodes of this show, go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. Thank you very much. And now onwards to the show. But facial recognition is a highly controversial matter. In 2019, the European Union actually banned facial recognition and biometric te technologies claiming that it violates human rights. Right? Facial recognition was sold on the idea of safety and security, but also to keep people a little scared. You know, you gotta be scared primarily of being a suspect of like a crime you didn't commit. <laughs> yeah, four out of five times, facial recognition software has led to false arrests, which means that people can get that warm, false sense of security, <coughs> but they can also get an irrational fear of cameras at all times, mm -hmm. which is fun. You know, cameras, they no longer just steal your souls. They also imprison you, like, forever. <laughs> it's fun. Now, in 2019, Jason Tooley, a board member of Tech UK, said biometric and facial recognition technologies should be used in tandem with policing, not replace it. I mean, clearly, this guy hasn't been on a police takeout because that's doing both, okay? <clears throat> and despite all of this data about how ineffective facial recognition software really is, the DHS still wants to use it. And even though, even though they keep saying that masks are needed for our health and safety, they're going to take a cue from anti-mask protesters and cough on the Fourth Amendment. Mm -hmm. Now, these leaks also revealed that cops were being used by corporations as hired guns, right? Cops were being hired by corporations to protect th things that were deemed as critical infrastructure. You know, yeah. things like pipelines and fracking equipment and <laughs> telecom towers. You know, not, not things that are actually pieces of critical infrastructure, you know, like roads and schools and hospitals and froyo shops. These are <laughs> real critical pieces of infrastructure. <laughs> now, what they're doing is they're, they're enforcing laws that uh, prevent protesters and activists from pushing back on leaking pipelines and fracking companies under boilerplate laws that were written uh, by right-wing Koch brother funded leg a legislative organization called ALEC, right? The American Legislation Executive Council. And not only is this a horrific piece of legislation, but it's also a new show on the Fox network. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> watch a whole bunch of scamps try to save the environment only to find themselves on the wrong side of the law. This Thursday on Fox. <laughs> There are also mercenary cops hired by the tourism industry that partners with hotels in certain cities. And this can only mean one thing. A new spin-off show called CSI Quality Inn. Quinta. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the show is going to be collecting spunk off of hotel linens to solve the crime. <laughs> That porn, right? It's kind of like if Dexter meets CSI meets Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. I'm excited, you guys. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> There's also a group that's hired for shoplifting incidences. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm real excited to see the first season of Law and Order Special Retails Unit. <laughs> It's gonna be a fun one. Not that one wasn't as big as this punk one. All right. <laughs> the leaks also identified courses that LA detectives can take offered by private surveillance corporation Palantir. Palantir is a company yeah. that has partnered with Amazon <laughs> and has been known to use facial recognition software to deport undocumented immigrants. So some of the course titles that these detectives were offered were uh, how to spot an immigrant, right? Italian or Indian, stereotyping shades of brown. It's a fun one. Uh, <laughs> recognizing faces, but not souls. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, everybody's favorite, how to love your Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, that class is, uh, that last class, very popular because it is 100% mandatory. So, <laughs> 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 Now, between using Amazon's Ring and Amazon partnered Palantir, Jeff Bezos is just kind of nuzzling under the bosom of Lady Justice, whether she wants him to be there or not, because that's how bad boy Bezos do, baby. That's how he do, okay? He takes whatever he wants, and he wants fucking everything, all right? <laughs> except, except a head full of good hair. That is... <laughs> It doesn't. A villains can't have good hair, you guys. If you want to be a good villain, you got to be bald as shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that has been your forkful of noodles for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you you are you're sharing this out with your friends, with your enemies, whoever you think would enjoy this show. Uh, and, and more importantly, make sure that you are subscribed, whether that you're watching this on YouTube, whether you're watching this on Facebook, listening to the audio version of this show, uh, or on rockfin.com, which is the uh, ad-free blockchain cryptocurrency site where the content creators are a part of the company. So uh, there's no censorship, there's no ads, and we're, we're all part of the family. And if you become a subscriber over at Rockfin for $10 a month, you get all of the exclusive premium content, not just for myself, but from all of the creators on Rockfin, people like Graham Elwood, Ron Placone, Kim Iverson, Jimmy Dore, a uh, ton of people that are on Rockfin. So uh, make sure you are subscribed. Uh, and once again, if you want to get tickets to these live virtual events that happen three times a month on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. You can also become a sustaining member to get free tickets and additional bonus unreleased stand-up comedy and storytelling content. Uh, you can um, also make a one-time donation. Check out all of my stand-up comedy albums. Uh, keep up to date on wh when my live shows are coming out uh, and sign up for my email list. Once again, the website is krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H -H -A. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next week.